dude, when it comes to female hotness and male awkwardness, black metal shows and Cradle of Filth take the cup. Welcome to another episode from Takedowns to Breakdowns with ANP, and today we're here to talk about something that happened over the weekend. Something that happened at a Cradle of Filth show. No, and I'm not talking about the guy on the wheelchair being crowd surfed around to the panic of the security guards, because that also happened, and they were panicking. It, it, it was like they were seeing a tidal wave coming towards them, and they had nothing to save them. Because it was not just a wheelchair, it was a motorized scooter. Holy so if, the, if that shit goes over the barricade, I don't think those people guys will are... die. Yeah, people yeah. will die. Those guys were not ready for that jelly, let's put it that way. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about something else. Now, I've been to a plethora of Cradle of Filth shows, and maybe I have been sleeping at the wheel, maybe I haven't been paying attention to the right things. But this time, I was near the barricade, but not quite on the barricade. I was a little bit on the side. So I was paying attention to not just the show, but I was paying attention to what was happening in my surroundings. And what I've noticed is, first of all, Creator of the Filth Shows brings the hottest chicks to the yard. They have the best milkshake out there. Okay. Uh, I think it's like, it's a toss up between black metal shows, like any, any black metal any show, black metal show yeah. or Creator of the Filth. I, I, I think it's really a toss up. It, one, I think the other genres just don't do it. They, they, they don't hold the candle to it. So I think sometimes- What about metalcore? No. Dude, when it comes to female hotness and male awkwardness, black metal shows and Cradle of Filth take the cup. Okay. They're, they're winners. One day one may be ahead of the other, the other day the other one may be ahead of the other, whatever. It's, it's, it's a neck and neck race between those two. But anyhow, I was there, I was paying attention to my surroundings, I was looking around, and I realized that Cradle of Filth shows are kind of turning into a tantric orgy of sorts, which I never noticed before. So I don't know if it was happening and I was just not paying attention or if this is or something this, recent. This is After recent. the pandemic, people, you know, they were building up, right? Like, I That's mean, true, yeah. They spent two years at home, you know, so now they're finally able to go out to a show, they see Cradle of Filth and suddenly they cannot hold their urges. Everything just comes out. So I was noticing that, like, there was a couple of girls in front of me and they spent the whole set kind of touching themselves screaming like oh you know like the beatles videos yeah, you, see those, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like those loud screams and whatever what the fuck that, that that's what i'm bringing this i didn't know we were at maryland death fest this is why i'm bringing this up here well i didn't see any of that happening but i okay. wouldn't be surprised if it was happening probably in the back in the back probably i was too back. busy in the front so i didn't have i don't have peripheral vision i couldn't see that far deep but anyway so there was a couple of girls in the front and they were like you know, touching themselves, for lack of a better term. Okay. They were screaming like, like like the Beatles were in town, you know, and they were moaning at one point. Uh, it felt to me that they were almost having orgasms through their eyelids. So it's all, it, they were, it was a, tr a tantric sex experience because there was no penetration. There was no, Obviously. there was no sexual activity, but it felt to me that, that, that they were having one. You, you know what I'm saying? Who knows though? Maybe Cradle of Filth has a, a, a new hex. Dude, it's, it's, does that music do that to you? It doesn't do it to me. No, it doesn't do it to me. I mean, I appreciate the music. I like what I'm listening to, but... Yeah, 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 but... But I, I don't, I don't get wet in the, in the titty parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my bitty bits don't get, uh... They don't get all, all, all excited and shit? Nah, nah. No, they don't do that for you? I, I, Definitely I think... not for me. Obviously for them. Okay, so now the question is, you're at a show, there's a couple of females in the audience, and they're partaking in this tantric experience. Does that then do it for you? No. Because I don't think you're alone. Everybody that was around these these specific girls was not enjoying the experience. Yeah. Even other women that were around them were not enjoying the experience. I honestly thought there was going to be a fight at one point between them because it was actually ruining their experience of the show. Well, no shit. If the if the girls are louder than the actual band, but if you oh, can, if they're next if to you, they're louder than the band. If you're at a cho if you're at a at a Cradle of Filth show. And you can hear people around you more than the band. I think that's when you know the people are too loud. Is there such a thing as being too loud at a metal show, though? 
I mean, if you're outshining the band that I that you paid money to go see, it's a problem. I think if you're singing the songs, if you're singing the song, I don't. If care. you're enjoying yourself, you're singing the songs, exactly. and you you know, sing your heart out. I don't. Honestly, but if I, that, but if, if you're head banging, whatever, that, none of that bothers me. But if, but, um, but if you're grunting, if you're grunting or moaning, uh, moaning at, or at screaming or screaming like like, like a banshee, a banshee uh, maybe that's crossing the line a little bit. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I wasn't there, so I don't get to have that much. Uh, or and there's also no footage. I can I can't really see. I didn't want to film it. I didn't want to sound like yeah. or, or look like a perv. Yeah, listen, I'm actually happy you didn't. You didn't. Uh, I filmed film the guy it. on the wheelchair. That's probably something better. But I, I'm happy you didn't feel, film that. Um, so obviously I can't have a full full say on this. But now these two girls, one of them had a boyfriend, and the boyfriend was there. And every so often, she would rub herself on him. Yeah, if I was the so, boyfriend, I would uh, leave the premises immediately. Why? Because like when you go home, you know, you, you know it's gonna pay dividends, dude. Uh, uh, like, a, like a big part, a big part. Like Crittle Filth just warmed it up, you know. You, yeah, and then but, you go home, you're the one that's 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 getting all the also, bacon. If yeah, you will. you're getting the bacon, but you also have to get all the the stairs the entire night while your significant other was, you know, having tantric sex, riding the lightning. Um... It's not a Metallica show, but okay. I enjoyed the reference, nevertheless. <laughs> All right, right on the lightning. I would feel so embarrassed, I'd just walk away. I, mean, I would also just be like, I don't know this fucking person, and I'd walk away. When I was watching this, I was thinking about a couple of things. First of all, it is this is obviously how they enjoy the music. So, But to me, oh. are, are they putting on... <laughs> that makes me think, if they're at home listening to the album, okay, are that, they doing that was, the same thing? So this is where I was going next. Are they putting on a show... Because I honestly don't think they do this at I home. I don't know. Or on the subway. They're on the subway, and and and, and Cradle of Filth comes on on their playlist. I don't see them like freaking grunting maybe and they don't screaming. Listen to Cradle of Filth all, all the day. All, all day. They wait until they get home. They light the candles. Oh, they then, have the the vagina candles and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. The and they they have the Gwyneth Paltrow candles exactly, and whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, get in the mood. They didn't have any candles there, but they were already in the mood. They came like. All, all ready to, to rumble. Already in the mood. <laughs> they, they came ready to rumble. So I was watching this, and that was my first thought, is like, if you're, if you're doing this just here, okay, but there's also the difference here, you're actually seeing the band at home, you're just listening to That's them. That's true. So there is that, th there is that to it. I and it's yelling, not like you're watching a video, like, you're actually seeing them live, I think right? The, I think the yelling is more of the live experience. The moaning and the touching, I feel like that's an every time experience. Yeah, you know they were touching you know, their, uh, you know their hair like you know like it's a fucking Vidal Sassoon con uh, yeah, yeah. commercial. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. they're doing all of that shit and I'm like do you do that at home be when you're listening to the band because if you don't do that at home then you're just trying to be the show. Exactly. You, you you're at pay, a show I and you're trying to be the show. I, I didn't pay to go and see you moan and, and and touch yourself at a concert. I paid to go see the concert. All right. So, so I feel like so th that was the first thing that came to my mind. Then the second thing is, is there some hidden message in Cradle of Filth music? You know like the dog whistles? Oh, that when yeah. you whistle, you don't hear anything, but it's at does. the frequency the dogs hear it. So is, is there some subliminal uh, frequencies in Cradle of Filth music well, that I, I was only horny that. chicks can, can hear it? I was going to ask that because we can't hear it, obviously. So horny chicks out there, is there a hidden frequency in Cradle of Filth music I'm that, gonna guess not. that we, we that goes over our heads that like we're not aware of? I'm... So, I'm, I'm just gonna guess not, but who knows? Because like I said, there was some. So there was some other girls next to them that were this close to bunching them. Oh yeah, because they couldn't hear the band, they couldn't enjoy it. Exactly. You have somebody freaking screaming That's what I'm saying. next to you the That's whole time. Saying. If they're singing the song, I can put up with it because you know I can understand how passionate they are about the band, and you know that's that's really good. You know, singing along with the band, but I don't think that's singing, bud. Like. And then let me bring us to a conclusion to this discussion. The last point that I want to make is this. Now, those were the two first things that I thought about. The last thing that I thought about was these girls were not very attractive, at least not to me. I'm not ju I'm not passing judgment. Oh, no. I'm not saying that other men would not find them attractive. That's not what I'm so saying. So why did you start off the, the... They were not very attractive to me. That's what I said. Okay, but why did you start off the conversation with... Oh, black metal concert bring out the hottest chicks. Oh, okay, I mean, but you know, there's exceptions to the rule. There's always exceptions to the rule. These two were the exceptions to the rule. You didn't rule. have to say that because that made me think they were hot. Now, now that you're no, saying, no, they were okay. But but what I'm saying to you is, there's always exceptions to the rule. So these ones were not. So does that make a difference too? Because if they're hot, do you put yeah. up with it a little bit more? I wouldn't put up with it either way. But I feel like I'd be more ready to not put up with it 
<laughs> the ugly chicks. Well, I'm not. Once again, they were not attractive to me. I'm not saying they were. Obviously, one of them had a boyfriend, so she's attractive to him. Yeah. But I'm just saying, to me, they didn't float my boat. So, uh, th does that make a difference to you? Because I think if they were hot, I would I would be more willing to to be there you for for the for you, you definitely would have filmed uh, but ass. i would have been i would have been more willing to to say well you know let me get a little bit to the front maybe i can get a, a guitar pick and squeeze myself in between them i'm just saying that i'm just putting it out there but the fact that you know they didn't have anything that i'm that that i was really interested in for like heard man yeah but listen fuck like just because i have steak at home it doesn't mean i can order uber you know what I mean? So whatever. I'll, uh, you know, the eyes eat too. You know what I'm saying? So the eyes eat too. It. So anyhow, what I'm saying to you is, does it make a difference? Yeah. Because you started all this whole thing thinking that they it were does. hot. It does. Because it makes me, it makes me, I feel like if it's the hotter chicks, I, I don't know how to answer this. I feel like if it was the hotter chicks, I would not pull up, I, either way I'm not putting up with it. But I feel like if it's the hotter chicks, it's going to take me a little bit longer to tell To them, be annoyed? To be annoyed, right? I mean, come on. I think the first note that comes out of their mouth is the first note I shut down. You tell them to simmer? I tell them Paige Van Zandt has one call away. All right, but obviously the, the other people around felt the same way as you. Definitely. They, but they made it, they, they started acting even worse afterwards. Because they wanted the attention. That's what it is. I think that's At what it comes down day, to. They wanted the attention. And if you want attention, there's different no, ways of No, but they wanted getting... the attention of the band or did they want attention of the audience or oh, both? No. The way you're describing them, the band, no. Well, one of the guitar players gave her a guitar pick, so obviously he had his attention. Yeah, I bet you he was like, shut up. Give, fucking take <laughs> it. Fucking take it. I don't... It was not... I said he gave her a guitar pick, not a pacifier. It was a guitar Still, pick. Still, it was more like... It was more like a, you know... A shut up gesture? It was a shut up gesture. It was like, oh, just shut the fuck up and take it. I don't care. Like, stop. Uh, I think if you want attention, it would show so much about them and that they wanted to go to a children... I, mean, yeah, I keep yeah. saying children are uh, a Cradle of Phil show and get attention because clearly they haven't had enough attention. But well, and considering, going back to my previous point, considering the hotness of the chicks at Cradle of Phil show, they obviously are not going to get the attention because they're, exactly. they're on the shallow end of that swimming pool. <laughs> exactly. Um, if you want attention, there's many oh God, ways of getting... this video has been so... That's why I'm putting out my PSA right now. <laughs> okay, fine. If you want attention, there's many ways of getting attention. But if your attention uh, lies in ruining others' experience at a show that they paid for... And it wasn't cheap, the tickets, by the uh, way. Yeah. Don't. Just don't do it. There's many other ways of getting attention. And, um, and you know... Get and, attention for something positive. Exactly. Because... Know the lyrics of the song. Sing them along. Exactly. Because if you can, you know, at least do that, then, you know, you're on the good side. Come, but... come to the show in a wheelchair and crowd surf. Exactly. Or help, or help raise the the or wheelchair. Help raise up. If you're the if you're the if you're the starting point of that, you also get mad. If you're the rent, yes, yes. If you're the starting point for that, all right. I, th I think we covered it all. This this video walked the fine line between, you know, cool content and slightly misogynistic. But hey, that's who we are. Okay. Well, <laughs> at least that's who I am. Yeah. Hey, when you get old, you can get away with a lot. Okay. Just ask Bill Cosby. All right. On that note, guys, we're done with this video. We'll see you at the next one. See ya.